hi my youtube channel viewers i'll discuss about acute appendices the importance of appendix in surgery results from it is propensity for inflammation which results in the clinical syndrome known as acute appendices acute appendices is the most common cause of acute abdomen appendectomy is the most frequently performed urgent abdominal operation and the first major procedure performed by a surgeon in training. Aside from its tendency to cause surgical pathology, the appendix may also have important roles in both immune function and maintaining the gut microbiota. The appendix varies considerably in length and circumference. The average length is between 8 and 10 cm. The position of the base of the appendix, I said the base of the appendix is constant, being found as a confluence of the three tenia coli of the cecum, which fuse to form the outer longitudinal muscle coat of the appendix. This is very important especially to find the appendix intraoperatively. Various positions of the appendix are categorized in the following locations. The commonest, the commonest one is the retrosacral appendix, which lies posterior to the sacrum and may be partially or totally extraperitoneal. Pelvic appendix, the tip of the appendix lies in or toward the pelvis. The clinician must appreciate that the anatomic location of the appendix determines the presentation of symptoms and signs during an episode of appendicitis. Appendicular artery a branch of the lower division of the iliocolic artery passes behind the terminal ileum to enter the mesoappendix. A short distance from the base of the appendix, it then comes to lie in the free border of the mesoappendix. An accessory appendicular artery may be present, but in most people, the appendicular artery is an end artery from both of which results in necrosis of the appendix. There, there is no unifying hypothesis regarding the etiology of acute appendicitis. The incidence of appendicitis is lost in societies with a high dietary fiber intake, contrary to that of people who consume refined carbohydrates. While appendicitis is clearly associated with bacterial proliferation within the appendix, no single organism is responsible. Obstruction of the appendix lumen has been widely held to be important, and some form of luminal obstruction, either by a fecalis or a stricture, is found in the majority of cases. The incidental finding of a colis is a relative indication for prophylactic appendectomy or an interval appendectomy in a patient treated conservatively. The classical features of acute appendicitis begin with poorly localized colicky abdominal pain. The pain is frequently first noticed in the periambalical region. With progressive inflammation of the appendix, the parietal peritoneum in the right iliac fossa becomes irritated, producing more intense, constant, and localized somatic pain. The classic visceral to somatic sequence of pain is present in about half of patients. Anorexia is a useful and constant clinical feature particularly in children. On examination, the patient may have fever, 
local tenderness in the right iliac fossa, guarding and rebound tenderness. During examination, the examiner may elicit uh, some signs to strengthen the diagnosis, like uh, the patient show where the pain started and shifted, we call it the pointing sign, and the rosing sign is uh, right lower quadrant pain with palpation of left lower quadrant, and the SWA sign pain with right thigh extension, and obturator sign is pain with internal rotation of flexed uh, thigh. As I said on the previous slide, the presentation of the patient uh, with acute appendicitis may vary with the position of the appendix, uh, like retrocecal appendix. In this case, rigidity is absent. Even application of deep pressure may fail to elicit tenderness, and we call it the silent appendix. The reason being that the second standard with gas prevents the pressure exerted by the hand from reaching the inflamed structure. On pelvic appendix, early diarrhea results from an inflamed appendix being in contact with the rectum uh, may be there. Uh, when the appendix lies entirely within the, append the pelvis, there is complete absence of abdominal rigidity and tenderness uh, over Mark Burns point. On posterior uh, appendix, in this case, the pain may not shift, the area is a feature, and there is marked retching, uh, tenderness is ill-defined. Appendicitis is relatively rare in infants, and for obvious reason, the patient is unable to give history. Because of this, the diagnosis is delayed and the incidence of complication is considerably high. Diffuse peritonitis can develop rapidly uh, due to the underdeveloped greater momentum, which is unable to give much assistance in localizing the infection. Elderly patients with a lax abdominal role or obesity may harbor complicated appendicitis with little evidence of it, and the clinical picture may simulate other abdominal conditions. The obesity can obscure and diminish all the local signs of acute appendicitis. In pregnancy, appendicitis is the most common next right trend in acute abdominal condition in pregnancy also. Diagnosis is complicated uh, by uh, delay in presentation as early nonspecific symptoms are attributed to the pregnancy. Again, appendix is displaced out of pelvis by gravidutas. These are differentials for acute appendicitis. As you see, the list is very long and uh, it is good to classify based on the age of the patient. Diagnosis of acute appendicitis is primarily based on history and physical examination, but these preoperative investigations are helpful to rule in or rule out other differentials. Total WBC count is almost always increased, above 10,000 in most of patients, but a very high WBC count, like more than 20,000, suggests complicated appendicitis. Imaging. Imaging is used when the diagnosis is not clear. It is helpful to detect complications like abscess and perforations. Plain film. It has very little utility and it is non-specific in findings. 
but in rare cases may visualize phacolis. Abdominal pelvic ultrasound it demonstrates a non-compressible aperistaltic tubular organ with a thick wall, but there are indirect uh, features of acute appendicitis like the presence of appendicolis, perisecal fluid collections. Ultrasound can rule in appendicitis but cannot reliably exclude the diagnosis. CT with contrast, it is imaging modality of choice it has good sensitivity and specificity. Still, there are different arguments to manage these patients, but in our setup for uncomplicated or simple appendicitis, patients with abscess and patients with gangrenous uh, appendicitis we go ahead for immediate appendectomy but for phlegmanous or appendicial uh, mass uh, we give broad spectrum antibiotics and we follow patients and once they improve clinically uh, we appoint them for interval appendectomy uh,